Hello friends and thank you so much once again for checking into this new video. In this video, I'm going to share with you about the different type of data in statistics. In the previous video, I mentioned about the analogy between data in statistics and wheels in cars. Going with the same context, wheels of different cars have different kind of tires, isn't it? So similarly, data in statistics are also of different types. Okay. And this is a very important uh, topic that needs to be understood by you all. Because as we dive deeper into statistics later, these will be used or applied. Okay. So therefore, uh, we must be very clear about the type of data because different type of data collected will use different type of statistics okay so to begin with let's see what are different type of data in general there are two types of data okay one is called numerical data where the data which is collected are expressed in the form of a number or numerically okay so for example age and height of mr x okay his age is let's say he's 30 years old and he's uh, 5.2 okay so that is the data about height and each of Mr. X. Let's say the number of pages in a book. Let's say there are 200 pages in a book. So that is the data. Let's say the cost price of a car, let's say five lakhs. That is also a number, isn't it? The data about the cost of the car. And let's say the IQ level of Mr. X, who is a very genius, let's say it's 95. So these are the data that you derive or that you acquire based on the different information you wanted about the different parameters here. So next, see, let's see what is this categorical data. So data that can be categorized, that can be categorized or in give or express in some form or terms. For example, gender, male and female, hair color, red, blonde, black, brown, marital, uh, marital status, married, unmarried. Okay, all these data are categorical in nature. Okay, however, we are most interested in the type of data which is there in statistics okay so what are these different type of data in statistics and the different type of data in statistics are further classified into two main types one is qualitative data and the other is called quantitative data however so uh, qualitative data is further subdivided into three different types which are the attributes nominal ordinal and the quantitative data are for the classified into continuous data and discrete data. So in this video, we are going to look into each and every type of data which is there in statistics. And I'm going to use example, or I'm hoping that we use example will be, uh, will be easier to understand what they are. Okay. So to begin with, what is, uh, let's start with what is a qualitative data. So any data which are collected and the collected information uh, of, about a subject of interest are expressed in the term of a characters or a words or a term, then those kind of data are called qualitative data. Let's say um, we'll talk about Mr. X who is very famous in our discussion. Let's say Mr. X marital status. We ask Mr. X, you say he's married or maybe unmarried. Religion, Christian. Uh, uh, Buddhist or maybe a Hindu or maybe a Muslim and then maybe origin African American uh, uh, maybe Indian hair color red black blonde brown okay so all these kind of data which can be which are expressed in terms of a character of the uh, of the of the information and such kind of data are called as qualitative data okay so now what are the different type of qualitative data? I already mentioned earlier, there are three types. Okay, now I'm gonna, for, for simplicity and for easy understanding, I'm gonna explain them one by one using example. Okay, now let's see first thing first, what is an attribute? Okay, you must have come across, uh, like say, when you fill an application form for any job application, or maybe a bank application, or maybe a license application, or maybe other types of application. You'll come across that there are such kind of question. Let's just say they'll ask you about your marital status and they'll give you two options. Okay. 
one option is let's say in term of marital status will be married the other will be unmarried and they'll give you another option which is sex you have to take either you're male or female are you working you're employed or unemployed educational status are you literate or illiterate and they'll ask do you smoke or yes or no okay where they'll provide or they'll give you two uh, options for every question okay so when you come across such kind of you know uh, uh, when data are trying to be extracted from giving you such kind of information and then these and then these data which are provided can be categorized into two different types only such type of data are called as the attribute data okay sorry they are called the attribute data see as i said in just one example marital you have to pick tick either here or here here or here here so whatever the information that you provide let's say you take all from this the option one so these are your information that you provided isn't it what whatever information they are categorized into only two types not more than that not less than that okay so that is when you find such kind of data they are called the attribute data okay now let's see what is a nominal data okay now let me see let me ask you name uh, any five cities that you uh, have visited or you want to visit or uh, maybe give uh, write the name of five different type of natural disasters or uh, what are the different type of colors of shoes that you have okay let me i ask you this question and then you give me this information okay these are the information that you provided okay for disaster days for color days for city and media days so however these are the data that you provide okay but these data whatever this data that you provide this data that you cannot rank them or you cannot categorize them into two or three or four or maybe less than that or maybe more than that you cannot categorize them so when data which are obtained that when this data you cannot rank them or you cannot order them or you cannot categorize them such kind of data are known as nominal data there are many various type of uh, nominal data you can think of you can even list them down okay these are just a few examples i am sharing with you in this video okay i hope you understand what is nominal data from here now let's take another one which is the uh, type of uh, qualitative data is ordinal data so now in an ordinal data let's give i'm giving examples again let's say i ask you Okay, what's the, uh, the, the, the student test performance during the last semesters? Uh, what's, the, uh, what's the cleanliness status of the market area during the lockdown period? Uh, what's the pH of a tap water? Okay, so let's say these are the information that you provide. Okay, you say that the test is be either excellent or very good or good or moderate or poor. In terms of cleanliness of the market during the lockdown period, say it is very neat, it's neat and it's moderate, it's slightly dirty, it's very dirty, and all that. Okay, and let's say you say about the pH, what is it? Oh, what is quite highly acidic, or oh, sometimes you say it's moderately acidic, it's neutral, it's moderately alkaline, or highly alkaline. So, what happened now when you get this kind of data? You see that those data that you acquire, that you collect, they can be actually categorized or rank accordingly then such kind of data are called the ordinal data. Ordinal order, we can keep them in order, okay? So such kind of data are called as the ordinal data. Now let's see, oh sorry, sorry for that. What is the qualitative data? Now qualitative data, as the name suggests, I think it's very easy, are those data which can be expressed in numbers, isn't it? For example, those ex uh, which can be expressed in number. Example, if I ask, if I ask you, uh, what's the cost of a flight ticket from Mumbai to Delhi? Let's say you say three thousand bucks, and the cost of flight ticket from Delhi to Calcutta maybe five thousand bucks. What is that? Those are the data that you get, isn't it? But they are expressed in numbers. You see, what is the number of participants in a conference? You say three hundred fifty. What's the what's the information you want to get? The number of participants. How many is the number of 350 and that is a data and that is expressed numerically so see now these are quantitative data salary of the president or uh, salary of the sorry not president salary of the of the government or, or doctor or maybe president of india how much whatever maybe the amount all you get is in term of data you see and the data data will be in term of numbers okay 
So that's our type of data are called as quantitative data. What are the, again, quantitative data are further declassified into two types. One is called discrete and the other is called continuous quantitative data. Let's see into one on each. Again, I'm going to use examples. Okay, what are discrete data? Example, I'm going to ask you, how many uh, households are there in the locality where you reside? How many uh, number of students are there in your class? How many number of patients are there in hospital X? How many phone calls do you receive per day? Okay, so what will be your answer? Your answer will be obviously in numerical form, isn't it? In data, the data will be in numerical. However, this data, okay, these data can only be counted, but they cannot be measured. There's such kind of data are said to be a eh? discrete data. And when your data, which are expressed, they, uh, they, can, uh, uh, they can take, uh, the data can be of any whole number, right? From zero to you know, infinity, those data are said to be discrete data. Okay, all right. So just remember any data which can be uh, counted, okay, but not measured, okay. And the other is if, it, uh, if they take a number as long as it's in the whole number, then such kind of data are said to be discrete data. All right. So now let's see what is uh, this. I've already explained. Now let's see what is a continuous quantitative data. And here also I'm going to use uh, example. And uh, finally, we are seeing Mr. X face. Uh, we have he's been very famous in our discussion. Is it? His feet, he looks. Quite handsome, isn't it? Anyway, uh, Mr. X, let's say I'm, I'm interested in knowing about the uh, Mr. X height. Let's say say 6.2, 6.35, 6.94 of whatever. Okay. Room temperature is 27.8 degrees centigrade. The average mark score is, let's say, uh, 40%. And let's say the volume of uh, water, in, uh, water in a tank, a water tank is, let's say, one third, two third. So when you come across such kind of data, okay, and these data can be measured, okay, and these data can be measured, such kind of data are said to be continuous data. And also this data can take the form of a whole number as well as a real number. For example, one third, two third, four fifth, 0 0.5. 0.245, 11.25. This is just an example I'm saying. When you get such kind of data, and these data, they can be count, uh, they can be measured, and they take any number which is a real number, and such kind of data are known as continuous data. All right. So now they uh, will come across another. There's another type of quantitative data. Which this also will be using very uh, frequently in the uh, central of tendency measure of central tendency and measure of dispersion. Okay, what are group and ungrouped data? To understand what are group and ungrouped data, I like to take an example. Let's say college X, uh, college college X is there, okay? and in this college, it gave one week time period for the new admission to takes place to take place. Okay. So the college is open for one week time period and then uh, uh, whatever new addition that will take place during that one week and that only will, uh, and then uh, that's how they will, uh, you know, uh, admit the new students. All right. So now let's say from this date to this date we have given. Okay. So how many a number of admissions are there? Let's see after this seven days period, a six days period, these are the total number of students who have been admitted in the College X. Okay, a total of 165 students. Okay, so now when you get such kind of a data, okay, when such kind of data which are available in its original form, okay, and this data uh, cannot and have not yet been categorized, they are just been given the way it is as it is originally, such kind of data are said to be on group data. Okay, you have not categorized them as yet. You just give them the raw data. Okay, I I I I, uh, I wanted to know about the number of uh, students admitted in College X. Okay, and then 
whatever number that I get during that uh, period where I take admission is uh, allowed, and then and then data that is provided to me that is raw data, and I haven't done anything with that data. When you get when you get those kind of data, then you call those data as on group data. They are not yet categorized. They are very raw in nature. Okay. So taking the same examples. Okay. Now let's say in a college X, during this time, 165 students have been admitted. And these 165 students, okay. Now in this college X, there are six different departments and 25 students have joined department A, 27 have joined department B, 24 have joined department F. So now what we have done, we out of these 165 students, we have classified them into different departments A to department A to department F. So what happened now? What we have done is that we have categorized the raw data. We have arranged them systematically based on the number of students for each department. So when you get such kind of data which are already categorized, then you call those kind of data as a group data. All right. So uh, sorry. Uh, so in a nutshell, into the in this vegetation, uh, sorry, in this uh, presentation, we talk about uh, called data type. What are the different type of data? Qualitative, quantitative. We talk about attributes, normal, ordinal, qualitative data, and then we talk about the continuous and discrete quantitative data. And again, the last we talk about the word group and ungroup data. So with this, these are the reference that I use in this. Uh, uh, presentation and with this I'd like to say thank you thank you so much for your attention and I hope and believe this video will uh, make you uh, understand what are the different types of data and statistics and once again thank you so much and thank you for your attention and